There's no local control. Tamara Gallagher owns a Portland daycare, a tough business where every penny matters. We had to pay hazard pay a few times last year. Um, this was for some of the damage that was done in Midcoast region where Portland just had rain. She's helping to lead an effort to ensure there would only be hazard pay if an emergency is declared in the city. It seems reasonable. Michael Schaefer agrees. If there's an issue that impacts the city, people should be paid more. But if this is in another part of the state and Portland isn't affected, it doesn't seem reasonable to, to put employers in a position where they have to pay uh, time and a half for an emergency that's not in the local area. This has been a controversial issue ever since voters initially supported the change in 2020, even leading to a court challenge. A lot of workers are being asked to sort of like take a risk just to come into work. Wes Pelletier, who is running for city council, has been involved with efforts to support hazard pay. He argues workers come from other areas because they've been priced out. They're having to drive into Portland, often during times when people are being told not to drive or to stay off the roads. Give the people hazardous pay. They should get hazardous pay. They're entitled to it. They work for it. Pelletier believes this doesn't impact as many people as companies claim. A lot of businesses are actually already paying what hazard pay is. Gallagher says that's true for some of her staff members, but others have far less experience. And now we have to pay them the same amount that we're paying other more experienced people for something that wasn't affecting Portland.